Day number two, my back is out, man. I woke up with a tweak. I felt it in my sleep too. I felt that tweak in the back. Now I can't move. I had to cancel all my sessions yesterday and then today. And then I think I'm gonna have to cancel again Friday. No riding for me. I ordered my GoPro, the GoPro 10. I'm gonna get another one. So I can mount that on the helmet and then mount one on the bike. But this pain, I wouldn't wish it on nobody. I'm literally paralyzed pretty much. Um, I haven't had this happen to me in a long time. I had back injuries for years, but let me tell you, this pain right here, I've had MRIs, I've had all types of scans, I've had freaking acupre acupuncture, acupressure, I went to chiropractors, nobody could tell me what the heck that is, what's been happening to me, but it feels more like a nerve, a nerve issue than anything else, but um, yo, I wouldn't wish this to not, I wouldn't wish this on my on my on my worst enemy i don't even have one of those that i know of but um i can't wait to be able to get on my bike and ride man and get back to work and back to training again and right now i'm just doing foam rolling i'm doing some stretching i'm doing some things but none of that is helping me because let me tell you it's not muscular this definitely feels like nerves all nerves so i'm hoping that the nerves can release itself um pretty soon all right so can't wait to get the GoPro, get the GoPro 10, the Hero Black, and then mount that up and start to get some footage as I, as I, you know, when I get back to riding again. And I'm supposed to be doing my training for my Spartan run. My brother George gets here Friday, and we're supposed to be going doing our run, walk, jog, run, walk, jog, whatever the heck we're going to be doing back and forth. But um, it's not looking good. It ain't looking good. All right, my back might be out. But I'm here laying down and I heard the, the, um, the bell ring. So now the only thing I ordered was the four inch extension clutch for the, for the bike. At first I wasn't gonna do it, but I said, you know what? It's not gonna hurt nothing. I don't like how the tension feels on the handlebar. Even though I made the video about not needing the extra wiring, I'm still gonna add the extension clutch because the extension cable, because what is it gonna hurt? So, all right, I heard the bell ring. Let's go see what's at that door. Let's go see what's at the door, buddy. Let's go, come on, let's go. Let's go see. Wait, come over here, right here. Sit. Good boy. Ah, stick, no, 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 no. Oh yeah. Let's get this baby out in here. You excited? You excited? I'm excited too, I'm excited too. I'm excited too, buddy. Bam. Let's get a knife. I'm gonna see if I can open this with one hand. <laughs> my man over there laid out. Yo, come on, man. You're supposed to be a doberman. What are you doing? You're supposed to be my, my protector at all times. Guys, my back is really done, but I'm, I'm telling you, I'm trying to find a positive way. All right, this is what it is. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> all right, guys, that was a little rough with the knife, but uh, yeah, I cut through the, <laughs> the instructions, but that's okay. So this is what it looks like. The installation should not be hard at all. This should only take a few minutes to get it done. So I'm gonna get it done and I'll see you back here in a few. All right, so I'm here on, I'm here for the road glide. I'm sitting down, I'm doing this with my back out of commission guys. So if I could do this with the back out of commission, and I get this done, then you're gonna be able to do this too. So first thing it says, it says it's right here, locate the clutch cable adjuster on the right side of the frame. Okay, so this is all it right here. This is the right side of the frame. And then it says to remove the cable clips. So I'm gonna remove the cable clip from off of here. It says that we will be using this again. So take this cable clip off. See that? So I'm gonna put that someplace safe like about right here it's not gonna scratch anything because it's the you know it's plastic all right let's move over to the next next part slide the adjuster tube up so remember i have only one hand so if i can't do it with, with with the one hand then i'll do it with the other so i move this piece up i'm gonna slide this piece up this tube the tube right here i want me to slide this all the way up so expose that all right so this is what it's gonna look like right there all right, the next thing it says to do, 
Oh yeah, by the way, I was able to find a stand for the phone, which is good. The next thing it says is to use a straight screwdriver to remove the red clip, then a, then to collapse the adjuster. So this is the screwdriver right here. There's a not there's a clip right here. If you turn it, you see it. That clip needs to be removed. So I'm assuming that I'm gonna push this in. Yep, and it's gonna start to help to release this out. So I want to do it from both ends. I'm trying to take my time. I don't want to push it out to break anything. All right, so one side came out. All right, there we go. So that's out. We got that piece out of here. Remember, put that someplace where you won't lose it. All right, what's the next thing? Next thing it says to rotate. Rotate the yellow tube and locate the little tab, then separate it from the lower cable using a straight screwdriver. So we want to rotate this. You might not be able to see it. Let me, let me adjust this camera. All right, so this right here is a little tab right here. So that tab, I want to use the screwdriver to lift this up. Uh, I need your help real quick. All right, guys, so what I'm noticing, because I already have the tension on this thing, it's a little hard to press this down, so I'm gonna get my son to come in. Um, I'm gonna press this down, right? And you see this? See this right here? Yeah. Can, can you come on this side? I want you to help me to pop this out. No, nothing? No. Hold on. What about now? No, don't break it, don't break it. All right, that's, uh, that's gonna require some, Okay, I, I know what we gotta do. When I do that, I'm gonna go this way, and then you push this cable outwards, okay? okay. So guys, what I'm doing now, I'm gonna go this way, and Dora, you're gonna take that and push it out. You ready? Yes. All right, push it out. There you go, that did it. All right, so we got it out. Perfect, all right, next step. You're saying now, I have to remove this whole thing by spreading out these two tabs on the side. So that's what I'm gonna do. Spread these two tabs out. All right, so we got this piece separated. See it? This is off. So I want to get this 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 piece off now. Let's see what we get. How much force does it require? Um, there we go. Perfect. All right. So we got the tab off. So remember, it's saying these tabs right here. I just I'm 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 not trying it really hard just enough to snap it off, to pull it off. All right, so now we have the bottom portion of the clutch cable and the top portion of the clutch cable. Now, let's get the extension on here. All right, the, the next piece they're saying is to take this lower portion, this piece right here, and to slide it over the stock cable. So it's, it's, it sets in place. Oh man, guys, my back is killing me today, man, but it, it is what it is. All right, we're gonna take this piece right here. This is the, this is the extension. We're gonna take your wrench. The wrench is gonna to have to loosen this up, right? And we're gonna slide this right over. This is supposed to fit right in place. Hold on a second, let me just loosen up the screw. There we go. I'm gonna slide this in. It don't fit you got to make this thing loose as heck all right there we go perfect so good it has a good pull so we're going to take the tools and we're going to tighten this down to make sure that this doesn't come out of place okay so what i'm doing i'm going to use a plier to hold this this part and then i'm going to use my wrench right here to tighten this down there we go that's beautiful. All right, so we have that part done, okay? All right, let's go to the next. All right, so here, here they want us to, in, to, to take this portion now, this piece right here, and we're gonna install it right here. And then you can see, I don't know if you could see it, but you can see the cable comes right through here, the end of that cable. Then we're gonna take this piece now, and we're going to get this to go to the top, push it through and connect everything. All right, so we got some pull here. I'll take this piece, give it some play. It's gonna feel a little stiff, so you gotta push up a bit on it to get this thing to go in. And then you start to free, you start to feed the, um, the 
cable into this slot. We want to feed it in just enough so we can get this to attach. Now we got to get it to line up properly and then we are good to go, baby. I think I'm going to use a screwdriver for this again. All right, that's going to be a little tricky part. All right, I'm going to have to go from the back like I did before and push this down. All right, this part isn't lining up the way I really want it to line up, but we'll get it. All right, that part is tricky. All right, so here we go. There's the piece here. Just a little patience, all right? All right, it's in. We got it. Let's get this up. So that red piece here, we're gonna put that red piece back in, all right? And um, don't forget, that's the locker that locks everything in. So you're gonna take your time, put it in, pop it back into play, and that's it. Then you're gonna take that piece, remember this piece here that we used to lock it in? I'm gonna pull it all back down, put the cover back in, Take your time and pull it back down. There we go. And there's another piece on the top that completely hides it all. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna lock this, this cable back in and then we are good to go. I'm doing this with my back messed up. So if I'm doing this with a messed up back, you can do this too. Uh, all right, there we go. And that's the cable extension, that's the clutch, four inches. So I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm gonna get a little bit more pull, pull it up to the top and I'm good. So as you can see right now, I didn't even give you before and after, I'll just find a, I'll find a picture of the bike. Um, so you can see that there's no stress on the bar now, on these cables. The cables that now have a lot of tension. No, it had a lot of tension before but now it doesn't have tension at all. That little, that four inches made a heck of a difference and I feel better. And I even have enough that I could push in some more if I choose to, which I'm going to, and I still have a lot of free play here, guys. So yeah, it's worth it. It's, it's worth it. Clutch feels good. I'm gonna take the bike for a test ride when I feel I'm able to, my back gets better, but that's it. All right, guys, that's it, baby. That's the Fat Baggers, easy install, handlebar. Um, I mean, clutch cable extensions. I did the four inch extension. It's um, it's from my 2022 Road Glide. What happened was when I did the handlebars, everything felt pretty good, but then I posted, hey guys, you don't need to get any extensions. And some of the guys in the, in the Road Glide Nation Facebook page were saying, hey, you should definitely still get some extensions because hey, you know what? It's better to be safe than sorry. A few of them were saying that the cables looks a little like they still have too much tension on it, which we don't want to do. We want to make sure that those cables are, are easily movable. So I hope that this helps you out. It only cost me one hundred and twenty dollars, I believe, um, for the for the for the whole kit. And it's worth it. It's worth it. I'm telling you, it's a quick install. Didn't take a lot of time. I'm showing you the video how to do it. I didn't I've never, never done this. My back is on fire and I still I'm, I'm able to do that. So every time I do something new on the bike, I'm telling you, I'm going to show you all how I do it and the steps. And if, if I have any, any errors, then so be it. And, and, and by the way, this, this yellow piece that we took off, we don't need it. That yellow piece is garbage. That yellow piece is no longer needed um, because that black piece that we, that we put over that black cover takes the place of that yellow piece. All right, so don't forget, leave the comments, let me know, subscribe to the channel. This is Ride Fit Nation, baby, teaching you not only through the bikes, but also through your fitness and your health. Make sure you're drinking that water, you're doing your workouts, your pushing ups, your squats, your sit ups, you're working, you're walking, you're taking that time to get your health together. All right, leave the comments, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and I'll see y'all later. Let's go.